Hi again, everyone. I hope you're all having a great day. So we have drawn to the end of a bit of a gridlocked week in terms of the market, with stocks not really knowing what way to go as investors watch the continuing simmering of the various macro events unfold. And for our beaten down buddy XLA Technologies, ticker symbol XELA or XELAP, if you play the preference shares, it has had a price action experience that has more or less mimicked the broader market. That was, of course, until Friday, where for at least briefly looked set to be a strong day's trade. Friday saw the stock open at a strong 15% up before slowly settling to finish the session with only a gain of 2.5% on the day. Given the exciting start to trade, I thought it might be worth having a bit of a discussion around what was the news catalyst that got the stock jumping at market open, as well as give some thoughts on what I think it means for the company in the long run. So let's get into it. So start with the announcement that came out on Friday um, that led to Excel jumping out of the blocks was as follows. Excel Technologies amends $115 million B Riley Capital debt facility to include a revolving credit facility. So basically the debt vehicle that Excel has struck with B Riley Capital back last year has been amended to allow for greater flexibility. By being a revolving facility, as Excel repays the debt that B Riley purchases on their behalf, they are able to borrow more. A bit like a a bit like how a credit card works, once you pay it off, you can borrow and use it again. This is a strategy that Excel appears to have been taking with trying to rein in their debt problem from as far back as 2017. Um, because of the ability to borrow and pay back and borrow again, it gives Excel a boost in liquidity of about $50 million more than what it currently has. This means that they have more freedom to pursue their business goals, which is a good thing when you consider the strong growth prospects that Excel is currently serving up. The other strength of the revolving debt facility, though it may not be used for this purpose, is that this kind of debt facility is what payment processing businesses need. Now that Excel has launched Excel Pay, this facility or potentially a similar one will need to be created to fund this service going forward. Finally, in terms of good things for Excel, it is worth acknowledging what the debt funding from b Riley Capital has allowed Excel Technologies to do, and that is free up their free cash flow. By refinancing large parts of existing debt, which makes a lot of sense right now as we are in an environment of record low interest rates and previous debt facilities Excel had would have likely carried much higher rates. So the move is going to be healthy for the balance sheet and the income statement going forward. However, one of the pre-existing debt facilities they had closed has now left Excel with senior secured notes to service which have an 11.5% coupon due for maturity in 2026. This particularly expensive piece of debt is to the tune of about $50 million. So the interest payments alone each year is going to be just under $6 million for the company. Anyway, Friday's announcement did generally spell good news for the company, but I think the reality of the B Riley Capital deal came home to roost with the last lines of the announcement that the $250 million at the market offering had been completed. If you have been following the company for the past year, and know a bit about the B Riley Capital deal. Basically, B Riley Capital has been paying off a big part of Excel Technologies debt, as well as providing this debt funding facility. But the $250 million of debt that they have paid off the at the market um, offering is in exchange for having Excel shares issued um, at the market value of the day debts were paid off. Now, the good news for Excel shareholders is that most of this likely occurred before the stock fell to these recent lows that we're experiencing following the preference share offering, but still it does represent a significant dilution of company assets and shareholder value. And I think the reality of this dilution is what caused the share price to reverse on Friday. Now, following Excel Technologies capital activities is a real challenge at the best of times, but it does seem to be that they are making significant headway in freeing up the company to allow them to continue to pursue growth opportunities. It is a painful journey, but I suppose given how big their bad debt situation was, any attempts to overcome this were going to be hard. I guess the question that now needs to be asked is, will an Excel Technologies company that is now much freer from its crippling company debt going to be able to provide share value performance that will counter the dilution effect that has been experienced throughout this deal with B Riley Capital? To be honest, it's a very hard question to answer, um, which is why I am more heavily invested in the preference shares than the common stock though I am holding on to both. Not that this is investing advice. Anyway, how are you all feeling about Excel stock at the moment? Does 2022 look like being a better year for the company with its much improved debt position and facilities? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 
Also, if there's another company you'd like me to take a look at, mention a ticker symbol in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Um, until next time, everyone, may the markets trade in your favor. Cheers.